The final game of 2012 saw the Coventry Blaze enter the Motor Point Arena. Peter Hirsch there was to have a big part to play. The Bulldog was ready, Frank the Tank was ready, the Sheffield Steelers were ready as John DeCaro led Ryan Finity's side onto the ice. It was to be a tight game, but one that the Steelers dominated. 39-19, they outshot Pearl Thompson's team. Here's one of them early on from Jeff Leguie, Hirsch making the first of many stops. The Coventry Blaze, though, against the run of play, were to take the lead. De Caro thought he got it. Cameron poked it between the pads, and Cameron again scores against the Steelers, and Sheffield were 1-0 down at 18-14. Look at it again. De Caro thinks he's got it. It's tight in between the pads. He's not best pleased, nor is Tyler Michelle, but Michael Hicks rules that it was a goal, and Cameron puts the Blaze one up at the break. Early pressure from the Sheffield Steelers in the second period. Hirsch again making big stop. De Caro two. That one from Venus. And in fact, Venus was to be involved in our next little sequence as well. Big shot comes in, puck rebounded into the corner. Esdas finishes on Venus. Venus not too best pleased. He hooks Esdas back. And then the two of them get involved in a little fracker. It was Esther's, I believe, first fight as a Sheffield Steeler. And it was Venus's first fight for the Coventry Blaze as well. And the two of them did a cracking job of entertaining us, didn't they? Both trading big rights. A couple of big jabs there from uh, Esther's. Venus comes back with one over the top. But a good scrap. Had us on the uh, tips of our toes as the referee and linesman broke that up. That was at 27.53, and it certainly got the Steelers fired up, did that little scrap, because only moments later, the Steelers were level. I'm going to ask you to look at this little play from Ashley Tate beforehand, though. Watch Tate. He just knocks the stick out of Bolesky's hand. So Bolesky's without a stick. Now, just hold that thought for a moment as the play develops. Legui is the man you're going to be keeping your eye on. The shot's going to come back to Fata. Legui's going to get a tip, and Bolesky's all over him, but because he's got no stick, he can't get the stick to the puck first, and that gives Legui the opportunity to shoot and score. He does. You'll see it again in super slow-mo. The shot comes in. Look at that stick between shoot's legs. That's the stick of Legui. He gets the tip, and look where Bolesky's all over Legui, but stickless. I think Ashley Tate should get an assist just for that. He didn't get an assist on the goal. Fatter and Jonathan Phillips did. We were tied at one apiece. The fans were happy. And relieved, should I say, because uh, Sheffield were dominant at that stage. Look at this for a little bit of a, a slash on the back of the legs of Tyler Michelle by Big Ben Olsen. And skates away like butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. A later power play for the Steelers. Big Ben was on the ice for this one, and the Steelers were to take the lead. Just two minutes remaining in the second period. Jonathan Phillips and Ashley Tate combine well, but it is Drew Fatter on the back door as Hirsch looks like he's got it. He hadn't got it. Big Drew had got it, and the Sheffield Steelers led 2-1 at the period break. You'll see it again. Hershey thinks he's got it. It's a deflection from Phillips, he hadn't. And all the time in the world for Drew Fadder to skate in. He shoots, he scores. The Steelers fans applause. The Steelers lead by two goals to one. Into the third period, Steelers looking comfortable. Esdas throws a pass out. Phillips and Hewitt can't get it. It's a turnover. Three on two, odd man rush. Bolesky fakes, then passes the puck into the net. A super goal from the NHLer. Bolesky ties it at 2-2 at 45-31. Again, you see, he fakes, is he going to pass it, is he going to shoot it, then he holds it, and then he just passes it into the net. Super finish from Bolesky, Olsen and Dustin Cameron picking up assists on that goal. Sheffield came forward, thought they'd scored as well, thought they'd got a winner, Jeff Legui. The light went on momentarily, then the light went off. Nobody really knew, Legui and Tate, well, they argue, but knowing Legui and Tate, as we do, I think if they thought they'd scored, they would be arguing a little bit more vehemently. You can't really tell a great deal, even from the super slow-mo. Big Ben goes into the back of the net. Legui tries to find an angle. Takes the shot. Hershey looks to me like he may have got it. It was bobbling up in the air, but no goal was awarded. Legui at the back door, can't control. And as he pulls the puck round Hirsch, he gets hooked back by Greg Lieb. 
takes the shot, gets frustrated, but Greg Lieb takes the penalty in overtime. 62-32, Finity calls a timeout. Sheffield had already killed a four-on-three blaze penalty. Bolesky, well, Coventry thought he'd get hacked down there. He didn't. No penalty called. Fata to Limpride. Limpride shots tipped home by Gertsen, and the Sheffield Steelers win it in overtime. 63-37, the time of the game-winning goal. Greg Lieb in the background. Well, looking to the stars. A bullet from Limpride, and he gets that tip from Stephen Gertsen. We'll see it again in super slow-mo. In fact, the super slow-mo almost doesn't catch this one. Such was the ferocity of the shot from Limpride. Gertsen's tip. Coventry weren't best pleased with that. They thought... That Bolesky had been hauled down, but the Sheffield Steelers couldn't care less. They end 2012 on a high with a 3 2 overtime win. Egner wasn't best pleased, though, was he? How about Ryan Finnerton? What did he think? Thoughts after that game, coach? Yeah, you know, I think a uh, bit of a Nottingham hangover there. You know, I think the guys didn't have the jump they would have liked, but I thought for the most part we controlled the game. You know, we. Uh, we didn't capitalize when we should have, but we I thought we controlled the, the pace of the play and, and for the most part, you know, the the, uh, the puck possession we had, you know, we executed some nice plays and, you know, I hate to say it, you know, Hershey had a great night, but, it, you know, at the end of the day, we, we came, we got two points and at the end of a, a long stretch for the guys here, they're, they're, you can tell fatigue setting in um, and the boys are tired, but we, uh, we snuck out a win and, you know, before the game, we said we didn't care how we got it, we just need two points to, to stay in the hunt. In the game, started off pretty well. Coventry took the lead against the run of play. Yeah, you know, and, and that happens. They, you know, I think we had them on their back foot, and they come down and, and score. And, you know, I said they had some chances as well to win. They got, you know, they got some talent over there. That Bolesky, I thought, had a great game. Every time he touched the puck, he was dangerous. And you know, we we tried to keep him in, in check, but you know, the guys the guys battled hard. You know, and we we played well. We we played well, and and I, you know. On another night, maybe yeah, we would have won in, in regulation, but we're happy to take the uh, the two points. Talk us through some of the talking points. The uh, the penalty that was called on Coventry just in uh, overtime, then on Lagoy. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a call he has to make, and you know, obviously, we're you know Tyler Michelle, they, they they get a minute power play in overtime, and he they call Tyler at the end of the game for for one, and then you know I think maybe it was maybe an even up on on leg. I mean, it was a scoring chance, but. It's easy to critique the refs from the outside looking in, and I think uh, you know both coaches scratch their head a few times tonight. But at the end of the day, I thought uh, we got what we deserved. We got the two points, and you know with the stretch we've been in, and, and the games, and, and the, the the types of games we've been in. You know the two against Nottingham, they're emotional, and it's tough to come down. And sometimes it's hard to pick yourself back up to, to get going a few days later. And I thought tonight we we looked a bit flat. You know I, I felt in the room, I felt we didn't have the energy and. That happens. That happens, and it seems you know it happens when you play a lot of games, and there's so much emotion, and, and then you got to come back and put it all on the line. And I, you know, I thought the guys did a good job. You know, I'm I'm, I'm definitely happy we got the two points because at the end of the day, that I, tonight I would have taken playing the worst game we've ever played to, to and get two points because you know I said the the guys look tired right now.